This video is on debugging mode or debugging variable values on monitor using STM32 Cube IDE. This is similar to what we do in Arduino serial print, like we monitor the va variable values using serial print, right? Similar to that, here how we can do an STM32 Cube IDE is what we are going to see in this video. We know that serial print is used for the real-time monitoring of variables. Uh, so using serial communication, this real-time monitoring of variables is done. Uh, if you're familiar with Arduino or used other uh, uh, controllers, you might be familiar with this serial print uh, concept or displaying of the variable values on the monitor itself, like on our serial monitor. So how to do that, uh, how to uh, do the same kind of uh, uh, debugging in STM32. For that, we have something called as debug mode in STM32, where uh, the in live expression, we can monitor any of our variables. For example, if X is our variable that we initialize as an int variable, then its real time value is displayed over here. So how to do this is what we will see in this video again. Um, so uh, the requirements like to, ha to have this live expression monitoring, what we need to have is just simple things like our programmer, that STM32 cube ID programmer we have, right? Uh, ST-Link. So ST-Link programmer should be connected. And this variable should be, the variable which we want to monitor should be, ex uh, should be initialized as a global variable. And uh, not just by not just only initialization it also should be executed in the code like you just only initial, initialize x in the global variable but uh, you don't uh, assign any value in the code or it, in, uh, in while the code is not running there is uh, no value assigned or this variable is not at all used then you cannot see this so some value should be assigned uh, for this variable uh, when the code is executed and we should uh, uh, run this um, or we should enter into the debug mode to have this uh, functionality enabled for us. First, let us initialize our variable as a global variable. So to initialize as a global variable, uh, so inside in the code, like um, uh, we have to initialize a variable outside the main function. But inside, uh, I mean, after the main command, like the statement. Uh, so to initialize it outside the uh, main function, let me choose one place here, like private variables. Uh, in, in between user code begin pv and user code end pv, let me initialize uh, our variable as int x equal to zero. And initializing it as uh, as a variable, uh, I mean with the data type alone is not sufficient, but we need to go and uh, assign some value to this variable in the real time or when the code is running. Um, so for that, uh, let me go to the while loop and uh, increment this value using x++ command. Uh, so now every time the while loop is called, this value is going to get incremented from zero. Correct? So let us now go to the debug mode. So this symbol over here, um, that is the debug mode symbol, like the bug kind of symbol. So let me click on it and let's go and debug it. And while I'm doing it, uh, my ST-Link program is connected to my microcontroller. And so these things are happening. Uh, now this kind of uh, window is in, in, you see in the right now, that is opened. Here for me, the live expressions tab, you can see there are, there will be several tabs open, but this live expression tab is what we are interested in. Uh, there are many variables actually, let me remove all variables. It'll be somewhat clean like this for you can bring all these things closer this uh, over here but suppose if you're not able to see this live expression tab uh, you can go to this uh, window over here this uh, and uh, over here you can go to the show perspective uh, you will have live expressions here so you can get this from here also so because we have this open here i'm going to add the expression the value the variable name is x let's put x and it should be able to uh, get its data data type by itself so when i put x and enter uh, when i clicked enter i got this data type data type and the value which we initialize zero okay so now you can see here uh, there is this resume or run kind of button uh, this green color one uh, when you click on this the debug mode is starting so i will click on this so as soon as I clicked, see the values shooting up like anything. That means it's keep on that many times the loop is running. So let's stop this once and uh, we'll write something else. Like x equal to x plus plus we have written. So let's say if uh, x greater than 1000, let us say x equal to 0. So that uh, 
uh, value is between 0 to 1000 only but because our uh, clock frequency is like 16 megahertz it, the while loop is getting executed very fast and your values are uh, going very uh, going shooting up very quickly so again let me go to the debug mode after saving the code um, so you can see here waiting for debugging connection so here you will see once the connections are all set this tab this kind of um, section is opened so in live expression this is there so now I need to play this I mean start this let me resume the code and it just runs the, you can see the value here it's always between 0 to 1000 because of this command or this if statement so I think uh, uh, this makes you clear how to visualize any variables in real time uh, using STM cube ID so one important thing is you need to initialize as it as a global variable so you, it is accessible everywhere in the code and in live expression tab you will be able to visualize it okay i hope this helps thank you please let me know what you think about this video in the comment section